Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet slash Reign of Giants with Wagstaff. It is day 125. We're over in Reign of Giants. We have found Pig King. We've gotten a little bit of gold. And I'm... I'm sort of... I, I'm just about ready to head back to Hamlet. The last couple of things that I want to grab while we're over here are pine cones and beefalo wool. And I'm just chopping these guys just in case we might possibly get a uh, tree guard spawn. I'll take the tree guard. But yeah, it's just, I, I realized it was it was going to take a very long time to accumulate pine cones from buying them from the shops. So figure as long as we're over here, we might as well grab at, at least a stack. I want to grab a stack of pine cones before I leave the world. So I'm just going to chop some trees for a while. And yeah, the other thing, beefalo wool, the reason is so that we can craft carpeted flooring in Hamlet. Uh, I like Beard Hair Rug. Beard Hair Rug's cool, but it's very dark and, uh, yeah, <laughs> does not provide a lot of variety. Carbon flooring is nice, and it will prevent brambles from spawning, so I would like to use carbon flooring in my base. So I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to collect some of that today. And, uh, yeah, if... If we have the time, and I think, I think we, well, yeah, we definitely do. We've got like 30 days before the apocalypse comes in Hamlet again. Uh, I can, I can dig up some of the marble flooring and use that for base, for bases. Hello, tree guard. Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's bring you over here. It's about to be, should we use, hmm. I would rather stay mobile during this, so... Oh yeah, and I definitely... I would see you guys much more easily by doing it this way. Let's just see if I can line you up. Is it just me, or is there really not a ton of... Uh, oh wait, that's right, the, 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 the big guy walks faster, so I should lure him away. And in that case, I will just bring you over here. And maybe I can get the small guy behind you. Yeah, in terms of like craftable turfs, Hamlet does not provide a whole lot. They give you the uh, the city turfs, the flat stone turf, and the uh, and the stone road turf, and the lawn turf. But as far as other turfs that you can craft, there's really not much. Uh, just the beard hair rug, really. All right, we gotta lure you a little bit over. And yeah, I don't generally like. Crafting with the um, with the wilds turf because they do not prevent brambles from spawning, and that's kind of an important consideration. Let's just let's just fight you on the go. Yeah, it is very easy to see you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna bring back a bit of a bit of carpeted flooring and a bit of marble flooring, and hopefully a stack of pine cones. And then at that point, I think I'll be ready to head back to Hamlet. So I will be, I will be working on that for a while, possibly a couple of days, and then we will head on back. I'm embarrassed to admit how long I've been doing this before I realized that we have a piggy right here who can help us chop some trees. <laughs> so I'm going to put him to work right now. Yeah, it's actually not taking too long to chop trees. It's a nice thing. Let's uh, let's just keep chopping. While we have you in our employ, we'll pick up the pieces later. I'll just pick up. I have, I've got to pick up the pine cones as I go because I I only really want to stack. And you are helping me out, sir. You are helping me out. I thank you for that. Every little bit helps. Wow, almost up to almost up to a full set of pine cones. All right, sir. You have you have worn out your use. I'm gonna no 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 no. You did. I will take your skin. Yeah, you have. I have used you, and now I shall leave you. Cool. But we got a stack of we got a stack of pine cones. I'll stow that away in you. And now I think. Uh, let's see. How close are we to the beefalo? I think the beefalo are. I think they're over there. We could probably make it if we run over right now. Although I haven't, have I prototyped a razor? That's one thing that I probably should have. That's one thing I probably should have done while I was back at picking. Well, I got to bring some things back to picking anyway, so I guess we can. I guess we can just go. Wow, wow, what a wreck! Well, we can uh, we can give these morsels to the pig king for sure. Let's just 
So let's just consolidate a bit. Ouch. Well, that was, that was impeccable timing. Looks like we got some, got some eggs over here. Oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff that we could bring back and I'm crazy. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. It's funny, my, uh, my, my, my view on, on random meat lying around has forever been changed. I will never take it for granted again. Having lived through a world where gold is really hard to get a hold of, every, every little morsel I see on the ground looks like a gold nugget to me now. Because you can give it to the pig king and he gives you an, an easy, easy nug. If we just grabbed 11 stale morsels right there, we can, uh, yeah, we can give him some meat, we can give him some, yeah! I should eat, though. Yeah, let's head on, uh, let's head on back over to Pig King. Drop some things off, and then, uh, yeah, prototype that, prototype those, that razor. I can't believe we haven't prototyped a razor. Day 126. Yeah, and then we'll, uh, head over to the beef. Alright, really quickly, let's trade with this guy. I gave my I, I did not anticipate this taking as as long to get back here, so I just gotta pick this up quickly, throw it in. Oh god, not insanity again. Well, at least the rain stopped. Yeah, I, I don't know that I'm gonna make it back to the beefalo tonight. Because I actually haven't even put up the the alchemy engine yet. Because I've been busy fighting these dudes. Get oh wait! Get away! Ugh. Alright, let's just put you right here, and let's make our razor, drop our gold in here, come on, I gotta go, I gotta go, uh, I got food, yeah, let's just, let's just hightail it, see if we can make it. So I know that when the quality of life update came out, that there was a way to bring, if you were riding a beefalo, you could actually take him to other DLCs. So it was a way of bringing like a fully domesticated beefalo to a different DLC. I don't know if that's still, if you're still capable of doing that. It might be fun to have a beefalo around in mm -hmm. Hamlet, but uh, mm -hmm. hello Moose. Would not be fun to have you around. Not so much. But it might be a fun side project if we ever get bored of our of our basing. I think I'm just barely gonna make it. Okay, and there's one. There's two beefalo. And I think there's yeah. There's gonna be more. This is one thing that the infroggles will be very helpful with. Uh, spotting the beefalo at night. Night. This time, it's time for y'all to be shaven. Shaven boys. Uh, let's start with these guys. Yeah. The infroggles are good for some things. <laughs> Fighting nightmare creatures, not so much. Definitely not so much. I also saw some set pieces with turf. Yeah, like like this turf over here. Wait, where the hell are we? Uh, wow, another, another Maxwell statue. Saw quite a few of those. Maybe it's worth taking the time to, uh... Taking the time to pitchfork a few of the set pieces for the for the turf. That would save me some save me some wood for sure. Alright, let's see if we got any more beeflow around here. I hear poop! I hear the poop! But I don't see any red, warm, beefy bodies. That might be it for that herd. Maybe just the one herd. Yep, I think we shaved everybody. We shaved everybody. Okay, now that I'm crazy, well, it doesn't matter now because it's day, but I went crazy at night, so I switched to the, I switched back to the, what do you call it, to the, oh dang, and I'm about to run out of, I'm about to run out of dark meat. Um, and I put my pig skins back in the chests. Yeah. 
I guess we'll be we'll be smacking him with this guy. I'll leave the razor here. Just smack you down. Yeah, I think that's probably it for the fight we'll be doing. Okay. Uh, let's grab this stuff over here. Oh, I left my pitchfork at Pig King too, didn't I? I mean, it's not the most expensive thing to craft. Let's just grab the pitchfork. Take all of this turf. All of it. Oh, it's hound time. Let's put... Let's put Chester over here, and the beefalo are going to assist me completely because I have zero weaponage, and I don't really feel like making a spear. A prototype one, right? Yeah, I could make one if I really wanted to, but with all of this, all of this meat lying around to shield me, no reason, no reason to rely on anything else. Let's just put our goggles on for now, while we so we can see what's happening. Here they come. Here come the pain. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hounds. That's a lot. That's a lot of hounds. That's quite a bit of hounds, to be honest. I can't hit you. I can't hit any of them. Just attack, attack. I will pick up the loot. Might also be a good idea to set up some tooth traps around the entryway, the Skyworthy. Oh, let these guys finish it up. Come on, come on, beefsicles, do you do your thing? Be dead. Yes. And we crazy again. I'm just holding down action. Pick up the pick up the pieces. All right. All right, let's head back to the pig king. I'm catching myself spending probably too much time in this world, and the reason is it, it is just so amazingly simple to acquire certain resources in Reign of Giants. Go away, man. Just one little bit of little bit of flooring. But yeah, I mean, it just gets me thinking about everything that would be easier, so much easier to get in this DLC. Not just gold, not just pine cones, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, like, just meat, rocky turf, light bulbs, bees, oh, we have so many beehives, reeds, I mean, stuff that you can get in Hamlet, it's just much scarcer. And I'm trying to avoid doing too much of that for now, because, yeah, I'm supposed to be played in Hamlet, but, oh, it's so tempting. It's so tempting having this world. This is why, this is why I wait to link worlds, because it's so tempting to just come over here and take everything that I would ever need to survive in Hamlet. And I don't think that that's, I mean, that might be a part of, part of the game, but, I don't know. I think an important part of playing Hamlet is learning how to, how to survive in Hamlet. That being said, I am I'm taking I'm taking quite a bit of resources back with me. The 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 main consideration is uh is turf things. Now let's see. Oh boy. Can I do this without Oh, get away. I got to get one. Yeah, just can I craft another? Oh wait, no, I got I got pigskin. I got pigskin. Let's let's do the pigskin. Ugh. No, it's in the other one. Oh, this is really hard. Ah, oh, that's really hard. Can I am I safe? No! Oh god. Craft the football helm, there we go. Uh now. Now. That and still really hard to see. Still really hard to see. Okay. Now we got it. Yikes. Oh, and we're wearing we can wear we can wear armor. That was that was sloppy, but we survived. Wait a minute. Am I still I'm not still crazy, okay. Yeah, let's eat this as long as we're crazy to uh, heal. 
And then I'll just cook up these green caps to restore my senator. Sounds good. Okay, this is definitely summer. Summer has officially begun. I it must must be. This must be summer. Good time to head back. We've got some Yeah, we got we got collected a bit of resources. Probably more than we needed to. Oh yeah, I want to check one thing. So, I know you can get Can you give this to Pig King? Nope, doesn't want it. Okay, no problem. I'll take it back to Hamlet. Let's see. Let's just put everything in here that we need. It's not like we're never coming back. Where did I put... Did I put the alchemy engine down somewhere? Oh, I put it down right there. Okay. Let's craft our... Let's craft our turfs. Carpeted flooring and marble turf. Where did I put the marble? Here. Is that all the marble I have? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I will eventually... Oh, the pet checkered floor. That's what I meant. Checkered floor, and I will eventually... I will eventually craft all these things. I mean, I'll, I'll eventually craft all my marble into checkered flooring, but it stores a little better. Because uh, it can stack up to 40. Let's see. Now I gotta... I guess I gotta bundle some of these things up to bring back over to Hamlet. All right, let's head back. I can, I think I can, I got most of what I need. Let's just bundle things up and bring them. Uh, we'll leave, we'll leave these here for now. Just want to get, get over there. Oh, dang. Guess we are. <laughs> Guess we, we are bringing quite a bit of stuff back. I think I have the bundles for it, most of it. I thank you for all your gifts, mighty pig king. But now it is time to return. To the land of the of the sophisticated piggies. Oh, and start to turf up some things. Yeah, I want to put some of that carpeted flooring and marble flooring on the on the the ice the the cooking area, the kitchen. That that has gone unturfed for far too many episodes. Please don't be the apocalypse. That would be lovely. I also, now that I have gold, I want to set up a telelocator focus right on top of the Apocalypse calendar. So I can just telelocate straight there, put some gems in, telelocate straight back. Now that, now that we know we can do two-way travel. All right, we're good, we're good. It's good to be back. I wonder what season it is. And I'm thankful that we don't get a bat wave as soon as we land. It's always welcome. Let's throw some things in here. Oh, monster meat. Oh yeah, and we're trying to get a, uh, we're trying to get a thing going. Oh, what do you call it? Set up some more, uh, grocers down here. So, we gotta be on the lookout for eggplant, but for now I'm just gonna put some things away. As long as we have the boards, let's do another row of chests. I don't need them to be super, like, bunched up next to each other, but I do need access. I would like access to the signs. So, unless, uh, this is gonna be tricky. What if, oh, here's an idea. So, like, say I wanted to put them here. So, like, every four, right? One, two, three, four. What if I started from the bottom? No, that seems, uh, that seems like it wouldn't be. It wouldn't make a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, because like even if I put one, even if I skipped one and put one there, eventually I would not be able to access the mini sign on this spot. So I really should, I really should uh, feather pen, uh, draw on these signs before I put any more chests down. Which is fine. Just means I need to. It'll be the chest will be a little sloppy until then. Not quite as organized as they could be. But that's okay, I can do the digging through chests off camera for the time being. I'm just clearing a space here so that I can open up these bundles. Let's just throw you in here, don't even really care. Gunpowder should probably get off the floor. Oh yeah, we never uh we never blew open that uh that hole in the in one of the ruins that we said we were going to. Oops. Good to have gold though. Yes, sir. Love me that gold. Uh, where should we put the gold? I mean, the gold will be going into... The gold will be going to use very soon. Oh, let's put the litter box here. Okay, well, now that we're back, first thing I would love to do is stick down all this carpeted flooring. 
And I believe this is how I did it on my last world. Did the beefalo rug on the outside and the marble flooring on the inside, on the interior. Let's see how that looks. And I might have to make a bit more... Might have to make a bit more marble... I might have to make more of, all, of both of those turfs. But it will look pretty when we're done. Hello, BFB. Hmm. Let's take you... Uh, over here. This way. Come with me. Oh, weird. I didn't walk onto any Forester. She just uh, decided to give up. That was a little peculiar. Oh, well. What, what is... Oh, that's just a flower. All right, well, back to the turfing. Oh, okay, so we got to make some more carp. We got to make more of both of those turfs. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, that is it for this episode. In the next video, I would like to... Ew. In the next video, I want to plant the, these pine cones, get to work on uh, on farming trees in earnest, and see just how, just how wide this thumper range truly is. And we can actually knock these boys down. It'll be, it'll waste a little bit of pine cones, but I'll get over it. Oh, I should probably get out of here. <laughs> oh, it missed the, it missed a spot. Did you do it again? Okay, there we go. Awesome. Wow, it also fi farms glow, uh, glow flies too. But yeah, we'll plant all these pine cones in the next video. Hope you are enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.